Sup, nerds. I'm Tom. And I'm Aaron. Uh, Monty Python joke, I guess. This is only a flesh wound. So Crusaders is an interesting take on the move and conquer style kind of game because there's this Mancala-esque action selection that you're going to be using the whole time. Like, that is the main action you're going to take on your turn is you're going to select one of the action wheel on your action wheel you select one of these you pick up all the cubes on it and you drop them around and like however many cubes are on it is how powerful that action actually is so you're going to be well, it's that plus you plus get bonuses things, as you build other stuff yeah but like that's in, in general you, you at first like that's all it's worth and then you're gonna you're gonna be moving around you're gonna be fighting off uh these three different uh, tribes, not tribes, or other yeah, their other armies or whatever. Yeah the, yeah, the armies, and then you're going to be putting down your buildings. You're going to put down your temples and your, uh, your your castles and things, and slowly conquering Europe. You know, like trying to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're looking at it upside down. Yeah, so like, really? Come on, man. That's, that's Italy right there. Look at the boot. Yeah, the boot. So the Mancala action selection thing is going to be very familiar to you if you've played the game Trajan with a couple... Um, it's actually, this is a bit simpler. In Trajan, it's where you ended on. When you pick, you pick up all the pieces, then one, two, three, boom, wherever you ended on, that's the you know action that you do and the degree to which you do it. Um, and here it's the one you pick up from and you do that. Um, and also in Trajan, it was a bit more complex. E these little uh, tokens had different colors that mattered. You had little... Bonus tiles you could get on there if you happen to have, a, you know, a yellow and a blue land on this spot right here. I'll get three bonus points. So it's a lot simpler. It's just a really good way of broadening out and like, oh, I want to just do Crusade four times in a row. Well, you kind of can't. You have to like do every action a couple. You have to spread the love around to all the different actions in order to beef up the other ones that you want to do so you can do them at a decent power level. Yeah, because... As you're crusading, the other armies that you're fighting get stronger every time they're defeated. So, mm -hmm. like, yeah. I defeat the army. They're super easy. Three. Crusade. Boom. Okay, now they're four strength. So now Tom wants to fight, and he has to have four strength with his crusade and battle them to beat them. And then it, it just keeps escalating out of control. You're like, oh, no. Mm -hmm. They get really strong. But you want to beat them because you want to clear off the board so you can put out all your buildings. Because the as you put out buildings, it increases the power of all your other actions. Yeah, you get bonuses, like... There's a little icon, so it matches up. You're like, okay, I'm going to do the influence action. Because the the game is set with a, a set amount of influence out there. And once that influence pool is gone, we finish the round, and whoever has the most influence wins. Like yeah, you, so those are, it's a set number of victory points, and you're trying to divvy them up amongst you the best way you can. Or you're trying to get the most of them to yourself, really. Yeah, if you can get, you know, to, if you're playing a two-player game, you want to get more than half of them. I mean, there are extras if you, you know, for the last person, they can always get all of the yeah, things they earn. A, yeah, but. there's a couple things. So it's not just those, in, yeah, in a two-player game, or, okay, it's not, a, what was it, 140 we did? Yeah. But either way, um, it's not just those amount of points that can only be given up, because uh, there's also whoever kills the most of each type of token out here gets bonus points, and you get bonus points for getting to your fourth level of building. Mm -hmm. You know, those will give you bonus points. But you're right, it is mostly what's out there. So you can kind of count as you're going along and like okay well if there's this many out there i know i'll cut that in half or cut that in thirds or whatever yep. i should be trying to get at least this many points the the base actions are travel build influence and crusade and muster so there's five of them uh you need to muster to build your army stronger that's how you can get the extra little crusade Symbols, icons yeah. so that you're you know stronger to battle because it would be really hard to battle like the level eights and nines if you're only using the tokens you're given. And especially with some of these heroes, because at the beginning of the game, you select the hero you're playing as, and they start with different amounts of these action tokens. There's one guy that actually starts with six, so mm -hmm. he would have to get his... Well, he starts with six, but he also has plus one in every action, but still. Yeah, like... you'd, you'd have to fully upgrade all... Of, you know, you'd have to muster everyone to come fight with you, and you'd have to... You know, get your castle because the thir your third castle gets you an extra crusade strength. So you have to play smart. Like this game is a lot of pre planning. You you'll take an action and it, you'll move the cubes, thinking of like, okay, when I move this action, I'll put a cube here, and then I'm gonna take this other action and I'll put an extra cube there. And now when I trigger it, it has those two extra cubes. I mean, it takes you a couple rounds to get to it. 
So you're mustering to get more guys. You're traveling around the board. That's just pretty simple. You're just getting to the space you want to go to. Build. You build the buildings. Uh, each building has a certain cost. And on, on your player board, it shows you what they cost. As you go further up, the more of that building built, the more it costs to build. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, and that's the thing with all of these actions. The more you do it, the more it costs to do it. It's, yeah. it's with muster, it's with building, and it's with crusading. The, the Yeah, like you said, when you kill this guy, it goes from three to four, and then and, and so on. Mm-hmm. Um, so and it, But like also, as you're building, you also get better, so it's a little bit of a balancing act there. Yeah, because like if you build the, the little... I Temple know, thing? It's... Uh, it's kind of like a public works or something. I don't know what it is. Whatever. It's got the little pillars. Anyways, if you build that one, it makes you better at building. Mm-hmm. But that that one is the hardest one to build all of them because it costs nine to build. Yeah, all the other all ones, the level fours are six. Main thing is making sure you're planning where your things are going to land. Yeah, I think the, the real name of this game is like efficiency. Mm-hmm. You know, because there's it's a relatively tight game because everything you do gets you points. But you just have to, like, you really don't want to waste an action. Mm -hmm. You don't want, and also you don't want to be off by one. Oh, I have a power of five, and I have, I need six to beat this person. Uh Uh-oh. I mean, and that can happen, but just player interaction. Another player can go there, can just kill, you know, another dude all the way over there. Doesn't really affect you, except now this guy jumps up, and you were just about to go kill that guy. Mm -hmm. Ah, I can't. And that's where the upgrading uh, the wedges really comes in play. Because mm-hmm. there's one of them you can upgrade that you'll be able to travel and then crusade as well. So uh, as an action, instead of picking up the cubes and moving around and taking action, you can upgrade one of them, and then you put the cubes back on it, and then you can like kind of rearrange one of the actions. You can take up the cubes and like resolve them like normal, you just, but you don't get the actions for it. Yeah, if you just so, want to redistribute. Yeah, yeah, so it helps you set up for something, but... Once you have that, now you have two options on that tile. So whenever you trigger it, you can use all of the cubes for one or split them among the two actions. So like, you like, oh, I just need to move one space and then I could crusade. So I have six on here. I'm going to pull up all six. I spend one for movement and I have five for crusading plus any bonuses I have for crusading. So you sh- you'll be able to like move around and fight way quicker. And like, that's really good because you want to crusade a lot. Like, it's the name of the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It seems like crusading and building is like the, the, the main, that's the name of the game. Was, you're right. <laughs> like it's crusading and then building and then crusading and they, then building. They get you the most points. You can get a lot of points from influence, which is just like the influence action. You, However many cubes are on there, you lift it up. You're like, that's how much influence you're getting. Plus, if you have the, the churches, they can get you some more influence. So, you know, you can just start just taking from that pile. You're just like, oh, give me more influence, more influence. And in and, doing that, you also rush out the game a bit more, which is probably my first and maybe only complaint I have with the game is that it can be a little bit shorter than you would want it to be. Mm-hmm. You, you know, you're never going to build all of your buildings. No. You know, you're going to get to four on maybe, you're going to build your fourth building on maybe two tracks at if, most. If you're being really efficient with building. If you're fighting yeah. those, the, whatever these guys are, that the, when the, you defeat the, them, the, you can pick either three victory points. Saracens. Or you get to build a building type that it shows on the thing for free. So yeah. that's really good, especially if you built a couple of the cheap ones and then like go kill those guys and put out the bigger buildings for free. Mm-hmm. You could... Maybe max out three. I don't, it would be really hard to put out all 16 of your buildings. Like, yeah, I don't know how you would do that. And I also felt that uh, so that the top building will let you unlock other knights. Mm-hmm. Um, it never really felt like that big of a deal. I've actually seen games where yeah. nobody has their second knight unlocked. Nobody builds any of those buildings. And, like, having multiple knights just gives you, like, more options to spread around. Oh, I want to go fight this guy, or I could go fight that guy. It depends. If he kills that dude, then he's higher, and I won't be able to beat him, so I'll go do this guy, I guess. Yeah, you can, you you know? can kind of go on both sides of the map. But yeah, yeah you have to. then you're, you're splitting your travel between the two. You're like, okay, I get six travel. I'm going to give four to this guy and two to this guy yeah. and have them in two spots that I'd like to trigger. Yeah, that just doesn't feel... It doesn't seem that quick. Like, if you've played this game a bunch, you can tell me if I'm wrong, but it doesn't seem all that strong. Yeah, not as strong as... Yeah, getting, getting muster your muster up. all the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's definitely like the first thing you have, you have to get like muster and build up immediately. Other than that, I don't know if I even really have a, another complaint. Like, it it yeah, it's a little short. And it feels like sometimes you can run the game can be rushed out. Uh, you know, the carpet can be pulled from under you, and you're like, no, I wanted to do so much more. Mm-hmm. 
Um, but I mean, that's almost kind of a good thing because it means you're having a good time. But as always, know? the TMG quality is amazing. Yes. I like all of the heroes that you can start with. So every game is going to feel different. Mm-hmm. You can start with some of your tiles upgraded. You can start with more or less of the action tokens. Or you could not like, use this at all if you Yeah, if really, you want a very vanilla game, you could play without it. Nobody there's, has... there's also uh, some variable player set up with the, the, the way that the wedges are. The wedges are yep. put out randomly. I think there's ways in the, in the back of the rule book. Um, and also, like, like you said about the components, this is not, everything that you're seeing here is not the deluxe version. This is the Base. regular version. And it still looks really, really good. All the mm-hmm. cardboard is really thick, really high quality. These um, meeple, you know, all the little building meeples look great. Uh, I think the deluxe version has, like, I think maybe there's metal coins. Metal, yeah, the metal victory I think, points. Yeah, I think these meeple things are plastic minis. And I think the player boards are double layered. I think the double layered board is maybe the only thing I would like. You know what I mean? I'm Just like, so okay. buildings don't bounce around. Yeah, so anything. buildings don't bounce around, the wedges don't bounce around, I guess. But I'm like, I mean, and I mean, hey, if, if it's up to you, if you're at a convention or whatever and you, they have the deluxe version there, go ahead and get it. But I don't know. I'm extremely satisfied with the quality of the standard retail version. Yeah, it's great. It's a lot of fun. It, it plays quick. It can kind of feel too quick, like you were saying. Yeah. Um, I, I love the point salad esque way this game plays. Like everything you do is getting you points. If you're mustering, you're getting points. If you're building, you're getting points. If you're just doing the influence action, obviously you're getting influence points. Like there's always something to do. The little bonus tiles we didn't even talk about that are out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, different buildings can cost less to build in certain areas, or they give you extra victory points if you build them there. So there's an extra way to kind of you know. It's going to be variable every time, so you're going to look around. And there there was one spot that I went to It was like, it took away one from the cost, and it also gave me points for that same building type. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to build that building for one less and get an extra victory point for building it. Mm-hmm. It's great. There's, I feel like it's not too heavy. It's definitely on the medium side. of. It's uh, not my first Euro. Yeah, but like the Mancala-esque-ness of it is going to draw people in with like, hey, you ready? Like... Pick, pick, pick up your your things and that's the action you take and look what you get to do isn't that so fun Don't but it's you... definitely like if you're like ooh I've got these two games on my shelf Crusaders and Trajan I heard they're similar this is much simpler you could handle this a lot easier Trajan you're gonna it's gonna take it's a much longer learning curve for Trajan so Neverboard Gaming highly highly recommends Crusaders Thy Will Be Done by TMG we're gonna have a purchase link to this game in the description box down below get yourself a copy and while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you'll never be bored. This is the first time we've done it. <laughs>